Hi guys, this is me, the Arcana Angel. Welcome into our sanctuary, a place where we can heal, grow, and get closer to our higher self. Right? <coughs> That's one of the reasons for this video. It's a full moon in Libra. So you know I have to um, let you know the big haps because I've been letting you know leading up to this energy. Remember creating the life that you want. It came out in the medication, meditation and elevation video. Just clearing some of the energy up. For us. So it was just a couple of things that uh, Spirit wanted us to touch on. Um, <laughs> Yes, thank you, uh, Creator, welcoming in the Creator, the Father. You know, He is always with us. Um, our ancestors, letting me know they're definitely in the building, or they're here for um, Ascended Masters, Angels. We surrounded by goodness, y'all. It's a, um, We're coming into a grand trine in some parts of the world. It's already, the energy is already going. Um, it's flowing. It's called a grand trine. It's... Um, something uh real and rare right um just like me or kind of angel make sure you hit subscribe uh, make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss your intuitive messages because i am spirit led you right and uh, spirit leads you here because he definitely has messages for us for the ones that want to um grow um one of the messages that he said um, being be truth beyond the intellectual, right? In other words, getting in tune with your spiritual self, um, heightening your power, um, seeing the bigger picture. What do you really believe in, right? Removing any anxiety that you might have for yourself or for your future. Right, this is the energy that you can actually create the life you want. It's gonna propel you in, into. Um, have you ever uh, been in a river rafting? Uh, I remember in Astro World in Texas, it was a theme park called Astro World. It was a Six Flags park, and they had the river ride. Right, and you get on that thing, and that river just take you through the bumps, the dumps, the dips. But you on this raft, and that's where God want us to be. He want. He's the raft, right? The river is life, right? The journey, right? It's all kinds of different pretty waterfalls and everything that you would want to see on these rafts. That's why we take those journeys to see those things, experience those things. But we have to trust in the divine, the creator, that while we're on this river, that we just flow, right? Um, the Libra full moon, the Grand Trine, it's actually a, a, a quadruple eight code. And you know, eight is the infinity symbol. God is with us, right? The beginning and the end, the beginning, the ending of old cycles. That's what the full moon does. Um, it, it highlights, it's like a flashlight. It highlights old things and, and people and places that no longer serve us, right? And, and the quadruple code eight, the infinity, the beginning and the end, eight, 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 light at the end of the tunnel. We here, y'all. Pat yourself on the back. We here. Give me a thumbs up because I helped <laughs> by the grace of the creator, right? Grace and mercy. Um, we're about to take off. Uh, the grand trine, a lot of people in astrology, when you look up the chart and they're drawing up the aspects, is shaped like a um, kite. So a lot of people in, um, associate the kite energy with that. And the kite energy is great because that means you're about to take off. You're about to have freedom to do what you want to do. And remember, there is the attention. Just like the river, the rafting river going back and forth, right? It's going to be dips and scary parts, and you don't know what's around that bend, right? Just like the kite, as it ascends, you have to have pressure to keep it just where it needs to be, correct? So, um, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, so remember, it's going to be tension. Just think of those as growing pains. Just be about to take off. Right, and you can't avoid the takeoff because of fear. 
when I was doing the uh, numerology, um, March is the eighth universal month. Eight, again, eight, being self-confidence, not avoiding the inevitable because of fear. Get on the raft. You know what I'm saying? Fly your kite as high. Don't worry if you think it's going to get caught in the tree or the power lines or what. If it's windy and it's beautiful and you have the opportunity, go for it. Be in charge. Right? Be in charge of your life. Transformation. It's going to come with self-discipline. Right? Another um, aspect of the Grand Trine <clears throat> is... The moon is going to be, um, Aries is going to be in respect to Mars. Fire energy multiplied. You could do anything. Literally, um, you could change the world with this energy. If you want to be the change, this is your opportunity. Everybody talk about it. It's going to be natural attention. It's going to be sunshine and rain. It's not going to be easy. But if you want to be that change, now is the opportunity to stand on what you believe. Light up the whole city. Lights. Lights. Camera action. Right? Time to go. Another thing the kite symbolizes is good wealth. Right? Good times. Let the good times roll. Just like the dice roll. You don't know where they're going to end. Just like the river raft. You don't know where it bends. Just like the kite. You don't know where the wind is going to whip it. But just go. Because it's going to be good times. And all those times you come out smiling. Every time we got off that boat. We were soaking wet. And we had them screamed and hollered. But we felt so good. When you fly a kite. You feeling so good. It don't even matter. Even if you get caught up in the trees, you still laugh because it's funny that it's caught in the trees and it's so tangled and, you know. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. So remember, this is a karmic reset. Um, it's rare, right? This is uh, the energy that we're going into now is going to set the tone for the next 18 to 21 years. I heard 19 for some people. But yeah, 18 to 21 years. This energy. Whatever we do in the next week or two under this full moon, whatever we take charge to do, we're going to create the life that we want or don't want because karma goes both ways. Remember, Libra, full moon, balance. Remember, the scales. Right? The scales. Perfect balance. Libra comes to bring balance to relationships, friendships, right? Partnerships, whatever you want to be partnered to. This is the energy right here. If you are, um, have an ascendant sign in Libra, right? You're going to be more charming and easier to get along with. So that's good, right? But just know, you gotta be totally in or totally out. Karma, karma reset. Think before you act. Mars and Aries, right? Fiery energy don't just pop off because you will pop off and you will set your whole, change your whole course. Right? Venus and Chiron, eight degrees from the sun clarifying and illuminating right what's graceful clarifying and illuminating the beautiful things the good things right so i know um a lot of people do rituals around this time this video is based on the rituals we'll be doing celebrating our growth how far we done came right reflecting on how far we came and heightening our power so with that being said let's get into the reading right full moon energy full moon power um this card is a seven card collective consciousness and rituals right getting those things setting ourselves apart basically right 
and um, be aware of your thoughts. This could be a beginning of um, I'm looking at this car and when I say getting being aware of your thoughts her head it's got a crown but when I was looking at this could be the beginning it was just like the beginning to just something that we don't even know like look I couldn't even say the beginning to a new world it's not a world on there it's just like man awesomeness right divineness right that card looks so divine I'm gonna read a little bit because you know this is one of those readings where we want to get specific and down to the nitty gritty because confirmation rules the nation we didn't talked about so much look says step into your true power and shine bright do not hide who you who and what you are the time is right to attract big things for yourself. Ancestral energy is important. And I tell you at the beginning of the building. <laughs> I mean at the beginning of the video. That ancestors was definitely letting us know. That they were in the building. So get in tune with your, with your past. Right. Open your mind to larger possibilities. Big magic can be wrought. Tell yourself you have the power. And it is real. Don't let anybody talk you out of it. Remember what I told you earlier about the um, intellectual thinking beyond intellectual um, thinking beyond intellectual truths, right? Thinking beyond what it say in the book, but knowing what it feels. You got to literally get out there and feel the power. This would be a perfect night. Remember rituals to go out and stand under the moon and literally look up. Inhale and exhale. Look up. Right? The time is now to act, create. Remember to do in this karmic reset. The time is now. I just, I, I just, it's so adamant. Remember, uh, I always say, whatever is repeated, that's the most important, right? You got faith. The worm moon. This full moon that's coming up is the worm moon. That's why I pull these cards, the full moon and the worm moon, because these are the energies we're embodying. Fertility and abundance now return. Things will get better. Growth has started. Hold on to your dreams and adversary. I know all will be well. Remember the floor like a river? The raft is about to be a um, wild ride, right? BWA, right? It, it's not going to always think what you think it would be, right? But just flow with it abundance she pregnant right there's the world there's the world in her stomach remember i was like a whole new world and i said in this card right here i said i can't even say a world because i can't even see it but then look at spirit he guided us right to it we don't have to see it we just have to flow into it and whatever we thinking it shall be it's time for manifesting full moon full moons are definitely manifesting uh power it's abundance we have to manifest abundance. Work without faith is dead. So, but first you got to think it. 31, you got 1-1, one, one, spiritual enlightenment, right? 9, spiritual laws. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is some strong energy, right? We can't let it scare us. We have to be disciplined. Self discipline has came out again two times right but how do we discipline ourselves we govern ourselves to the universal laws right we flow into that look how she lean look how she just land into it and enveloped um yeah she's just comfortable and it, and and she's laying comfortably in that energy and look it's starting to envelop her right starting to envelop her creating the world that you want remember i said somebody out there they really do want to be a change in their community in their surroundings in their household you got the power to do that under this libra full moon 
and it won't just change today it's gonna be a wild ride remember right just trust and believe this spirit have our back right but it said take advantage take advantage have more complete faith in yourself and the higher power leads you to your greatest good I just, I just said that I just said we just have to flow with it right flow with it like the river and we'll be led right to that new world new world I ain't gonna say new world order <laughs> I'm just sad new world I'm going to pull some uh, tarot of the nine. Let's get a little clarification. Confirmation rules the nation. Right? Our zodiacs in this full moon. Uh, you probably can't see it, but if you look really, really closely, you can see those zodiac points. Everything is connected. Right? Persevere. But by me saying everything is connected, I was saying new world it's time to get a system in order. This is a time to systemize and order your life. Look, synergy. Knowing all things work together. The sunshine and the rain. Temperance. Balancing out this. Balancing out temperance. That's what that does. Spirit does that though. Remember, it's time to get spiritual. Empress, there it is, the Libra full moon right there, passion. What are you passionate about? You know what I'm saying? Three, one, 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 one. It's time to manifest prosperity. Get the life that you want, right? Peacefulness, right? You got one, two, three, five, three. The gateway is open, and the gateway is open to spiritual enlightenment. The gateway is open, man. Look at her leaping into that new life. Go ahead and get your life. Go get your life back. Hey, shout out daughter Lawrence. Yes. And all my divines that's watching. Go get your life back. Build those bit. The star. Air energy. Right? The star essence. Protection that Al is there. Right, as above, so below. Healing, renewal, balance, strength to overcome, manifesting, tying up those loose ends, blessing and blessings, infinite possibilities. Right, lining up. Being generous. Challenge. It's gonna be challenging the chariot. That's that ace of cups he coming out of. Yep. Hmm. What other messages do you have? Proof. It's about to be fruitful. Spirit wants you to know it's about to be fruitful. I hate the way that lipstick does. I'm sorry, y'all. It's about to be fruitful, y'all. We have to discipline ourselves. seeing prosperity all these ones taking leadership right self-discipline balancing your thoughts keep your thoughts whatever whatever you're thinking that's what you're gonna be getting yes what's on their mind what do they need to shake it off Shake it off. Shake it out. Be assertive. Be passionate about your abundance. 
and going to get it. See, a, a ballerina, what makes it so graceful and beautiful is that she's passionate. Those songs are passionate that they dance it to. Be passionate about the, the life that you want to go into. Yes, spirit. The chariot and temperance again. The chariot and temperance again. The chariot and temperance. I'll put these right here. So I can compare because these are double in amplified energies. Like the cherry is time. Now be assertive. Need to toughen up, baby, baby. Yeah, it's time to go. The traveler, the tap, powerful realization is you. Powerful realization is you. It's time to go. But look. This the shadow. This, see, this is what you need to be doing. Being assertive, right? But right here, you're feeling uh, defeated and weak. Like, I want to be that person. I feel like I'm that person. But you're not acting like that person. And, and your ride is coming. You know what I'm saying? Your ride is coming. Your ride is here. That's this energy. That's this energy. Yeah. Trying to balance it that I told you, fruitful, flowing together, synergy. Been here before. That's why it might seem cloudy, or um, you might be doubting or um, second guessing uh, yourself, right? But don't second guess yourself. You can manifest. You can manifest new opportunities, right? Toughen up. Toughen up where you're weak at. I'm going to pull another one on this temperance. Clarify. Look, spirits want you to know. Queen of Swords, Knight of Coins, Queen of Cups. Temperance, bailing out. See, the Knight of Coins is slow moving energy. Right, the blue means speaking what's on your mind that's gonna lead you to success. But under the temperature, you got the queen of cups, your heart, and your mind, right? And they both got the sixth um chakra, the third eye chakra, balancing out your heart and your mind. Overthinking, remember, you remember, you got to fight against the intellectual thoughts is keeping you back from your passions. Yeah, I might I add, ain't her hair kind of cute in it? Hair's kind of cute, right? <laughs> Great minds think alike, right? Right under the angel card. Right? I'm bringing you this message of love and truth. You are protected. Right, you have been through a lot, but this is about to balance out light at the end of the tunnel. But you got to be willing to go. Look, Ace of Coins, underlying energy. Are you going to receive it? In this Libra full moon? Look, the energy. Libra, Libra, Libra. Are you going to receive it in this Libra full moon? Manifest the life that you want. The magician, right? Take responsibility and come up out that emotional mind effery, right? This full moon, there's the sun. There's nothing standing in between where you are and where you want to go but yourself. What wolf you go feed? Hmm? What wolf you go feed? You know the high priest. You, you've been there. The time is now. The time is now. Six of coins. To balance it out, six of coins is balanced. Usually it's, but usually it's, but this is not balanced. <laughs> See, it's not balanced, but favor not fair. Remember, you abundance is just coming out of everywhere, right? And then this is an energy. Um, I wanted to say that 
strive to um, get more for yourself because the more for you have for yourself, the more you can give. God loves a cheerful giver, right? Yes. Over the sun, we got the five of coins, the eight of coins, and the two of coins. Wow, a lot of pinnacles, a lot of things, um, household situation, mother's kids, uh, parents, kids, um, but the losses, right? Working after the losses, right? There's the losses that we've taken. Remember, I said it's something that we have to, the Knight of Coins and the Five of Coins, we have to communicate clearly, communicate clearly with yourself and your family, your loved ones. You know, what it's going to take to balance out and get that six of coins, right? It's not going to be fast, but it's coming because he told us it's on the way, right? You will be rewarded for your losses. Then you got the eight of coins. You just have to keep working, right? You have to keep working. It's a whole lot of pinnacles in here. Abundance. He told us abundance was coming, right? Two of coins decisions are you gonna get on the ship your ship is coming are you gonna be ready because you got put in the work look the moon is crossing it right there you got to put in the work baby but but it's here right you got the empress the magician and justice manifesting what you want and so you did it it's on the way right so keep your thoughts pure right because all those losses that you went through is matter of fact God about to you about to be able to give and over give and give give and God just gonna keep it flowing 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 look at all these pinnacles this ace of cup 5 11 19 this man that's already two generations right third generational money three generations of bread you hear me judgment it's three generations of money out here that's how much wealth and abundance and prosperity but we gotta go get it oh i'm anxious now to see that yes ace of swords true for um communication and uh clarity ace of cups two aces two gifts and opportunities from the creator the divine he's the one that designed the stars moons and he put it in the sky right if he designed it and he gave us the knowledge and the wisdom to discern it right that's what the high priestess the nine the 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 wisdom to discern right then we got the ten of cups up under her with the two, just got to make the decision. Get out your head. Make the decision. Get out your head. Right? Mm. <laughs> I was going to say, you have to be totally in or out. And then look what the cut deck is. Make sure you go and watch those um, Don't Talk, Just Listen videos. Yeah. See, balance, remember we said you had to balance out that heart and that mind, right? Well, that heart is a burden. That heart been a burden. See the King of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Yes, it's the heart that got him looking at that cup like, ooh. Usually the King of Cups is emotionally um, ready and he got it in his hand. Now he looking at it like he not so sure and that's a burden. And you can't burden yourself like that. You, really, you can't burden yourself like that. You got to be the Empress. You got to be free. Look, in this Empress Cup, it's almost the same way. Right? They're not taking the cup. We not You're not taking the cup. It's time to take the cup. Be free. Be like a dancer. Right? Dancers don't have any inhibitions. They don't have any inhibitions. Let's go around one more time, Spirit. The spirit said, obviously y'all still don't get it or you just need just that little bit of clarification of let's see what loose ends we need to tie up spirit. Because now we see to gain balance of our thoughts, we need to not be so concentrated on our heart. We need to balance out our heart and our mind, right? 
so we don't miss our ship. So now let's see where loose ends we need to tie up. And remember, this is a self journey, right? You can't tie up nobody else's ends for you to get your coins. You got to tie your ends up, right? You got to sweep around your front door, right? Pentacles, 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 Six of Pentacles, Underlying Energy, Success. Yes. And remember, look, his face is covered. We don't know where it's coming from, but we know it's coming. He working, though. He putting in that work right. There's the Queen of Cups again. Confirmation rules the nation. Tying up those loose ends, look, getting it all out. Most of the time in therapy, it's our past, right? Get rid of those past love, those past infidelities. Look how, and this is the first time I noticed in this cup. Wow. They're sitting in a pool of water. Look at that. Oh, that's what they up to their knees in water emotions right wow and that's what's causing the defeat you gotta tie up those loose ends you gotta separate yourself from things that no longer serve you and remember i told you it wasn't gonna be sunshine and rain you're trying to get security for yourself because I don't see any wands. It's no wands out here. It is no wands out here at all. You have, let, I guess, trying to secure, get gain security. You've overthought it, overthought it. You just then woe yourself, wreck. Look at her face, just then got bitter and sour. And, and probably for a long time, from a little girl to a adult, little from a child to an adult, but it's defeated you until today, when you got to this point, right? When you came to see your guidance counselor on your spiritual journey, right? But I see three cups. In this picture, it's three cups. So definitely um, past relationship, past unions. You need to tie those loose ends up. Right? You you got to be in or out. And you need to... You, what did I tell you? Communicate clearly. Communicate clearly that it's over. Right? It's over. Tying up loose ends. Cutting them off. Right? So you can have your new beginnings, right? Because you got the three of coins. That's work, right? Told you you got to put in work. Remember, um, where is that? Uh, oh, underlying energy. The six of coins. Remember I said he working. Three and six is nine. That's prosperity, independence, right? Underlying energy. The empress. But you got the ten of swords. You got to be out the way. You got to tie up them loose ends. Tie up them loose ends, baby. And there's a knight of disc and the justice card Libra again. Right? Be meticulous. Calculated time for planning. Right? Not rushing into anything. Right? You, 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 Ace of Pentacles. So you can get rewarded for your for your um hard work. For you can get um so you can manifest your uh, so you can develop your skills, manifest the life that you want, the opportunities that you want. Cause it was cause you got the ace of dicks for oh that's ten pentacles. This is Ten Pentacles. I told you, legacy. 
this 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 at least one generation right here right three three generations your mama you and your kids right this three generations so we're talking about generational wealth soulmate there's the one security right with the eight of pentacles you're gonna have to just keep on working for what you believe in two of cups you got two cups down here right you just have to stand up and look another cup there's that third cup come into union with what you really believe in or out there's not no time to be on the fence you either in the boat or you not four ones as we celebrating or um celebrating our releasing attachments from things that no longer serve us look at us <laughs> look you got the four of ones right are we celebrating releasing attachments that no longer serve us and walking into our higher selves making the decision to show up and be true look all of that binding energy binding of things on on earth so that it'll be bound in heaven. Uh, remember the magician. As above, so below. It's time to bind and do your rituals, right? How far have you came? Right? Six cups. Pleasure the chariot. <laughs> it's time to move. Time to move. Time to be disciplined and assertive. And go for what really brings you joy and ecstasy right yes yes <laughs> three 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 to manifest prosperity yes there's your ones and those are that's a good one to have the four ones is that structure and stability i told you that you was thinking about that you wanted What's your biggest conflict being yourself? Not 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 taking the tool. Look, he got the wand in his hand. Not moving forward. That's been the biggest conflict. You got to tie that up. Tie that up. Tie that up. No more loose ends. No more loose ends. Look, no more being the fallen muse, knowing that we are protected. We coming up out of that energy. Yes, thank you, spirit. Cut me, cut dig message. Yes. This is just a little bit more to focus. <laughs> the Phoenix emerging. Yes, look. <laughs> From the fallen muse to the Phoenix emerging. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ushan, Ushan, shout out to um the goddess Oshun. She may be watching out for us right now. Make sure that you um do your ritual to her tonight. She is the ultimate empress. Right. Oshun. Pause and reflect. Look solstice song. We are in the new the uh spring solstice just passed we um this is right now energy. Right now the change is now you are protected. And you might need to talk to a wise. Oh, you got a wise one. Those are those ancestor spirits, baby. Remember? They in the building. Give me honor. Thank you. Thank you. We got the divine in the building. We got the ancestors. We got spirit guides with the raven. That's why the energy is so amplified. Everybody in the building. I told you earlier. Everybody was in the building. I'm just gonna um, finish up. I want to see what this oh Sean, that's for for blessings trying to get through. I told you, blessings trying to get through. I get excited, y'all know I get excited. I hope you have watched to this part because if not, you missed the meat. You missed the meat. This is it right here, y'all. We going for it. Make sure you email me. Uh, make sure that you come in and let me know. Make sure you call me if you need any help. This energy will not last long. Mm -hmm. Oshun, mistress of the river. What did we talk about earlier? Get in that boat and go, right? 
Butterflies, bees, and hummingbirds are the symbols of sensuous Oshun, mistress of the river. These creatures remind us, and here's the Queen of Wands. She usually represents the mistress. It's ready to go. Public defender. Oshun, Oshun is defending you right now. Oshun is saying, baby, child of mine, go. I got you. She, the mistress of the river. These creatures remind us that some beauty is infrared, as delicate as the butterfly, as temporary as the life of a bee, and fleeting as the hummingbird. I told you. Outer beauty is fleeting, but inner beauty is ageless. What did I tell you? For our higher selves, that's what this full moon, that's what full moon energy, how can we heighten our power? <sighs> Now is the time to give some thought to what you can do to make sure that beneath your exterior lies a person worth getting to know. Although it can be done, it is much easier to live a good life and be a good person, to be beautiful from the start than it is to reinvent yourself at the age of 70. The time is now. Remember this 20-year energy. Um, I'm 42. In 20 years, I'll be 62. I don't want to wait till I'm 62 to start this journey. I mean, I, thank God I didn't wait till I was 62 to start this journey, right? So wherever you are now, start now. Don't wait. That's basically what they are um, saying. Uh, oh, Botala is, you know, a spiritual uh, leader. And his number is 8. And the wise woman came out as well. Her number is five. Personal freedom changes self-confidence to change. Leaning on your ancestors and doing the right thing. Raven seven. Um, doing your rituals. Having that. Um, you got two nines. Closures for a new lifestyle. Yes. That's why you coming up as the phoenix emerging. That's why you coming up. Because with these cards, knowing you are protected, coming out, leaving that fallen muse energy, you got to come. That's why you coming out. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is, what did I tell you? Look up. Go outside tonight and look up. Look up. And look up. If she look up, that phoenix is right above her head. Mm. Imagine that. Now, that's how you read a card, Oshun. Yes, thank you for defending us. Thank you for defending us, Oshun. And I'm so glad. Look, I put on, I made sure I put on my yellow shirt, my yellow nails. I didn't, I did not know she was going to come out. But that just let me know she's with me. Right? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Thank you. All praises to the creator. Because everything works. Remember this worm moon. <laughs> This is where in moon, everything is connected. Remember in that moon? Can you see it? Oh, can you see? I don't know how it looks on your TV screen, but you can see everything is connected. So many different points in that. Everything is connected. <sighs> Excuse me, my nose is itching that pollen, and I just can't stop itching it. <laughs> Raven. Beware of flatterers. Master of many skills. I told you it's time for skill mastery. The raven. Raven spirit. Responsibility despite the cost. Do the right thing. I told you in or out. You got to make the decision to cut those things off that no longer serve you. We can learn from Abuatala. Even if news reports are full of corrupt and, and badness, right? We do not need to threat of exposure or arrest as motivation. It is enough to know that we are doing the right thing, right? We don't have to go in and, and defend everything because we are the protect. We're being protected and guided. Hmm. Last card. Thank you, spirits. It has been so kind. Time to take a nap. To be fair, look at it, Justice Cadet. Right? 
time to be fair. Time to take a step back from those things that no longer serve us. Mm. Be diplomatic. This is that um, Libra in Saturn. Remember the Grand Trine. It's going to be 8 degrees Saturn, 8 degrees Aries. Right? Being diplomatic. That's what that is. Oh, but fella. Doing the right thing. Orphans. Yep. What else, spirit? Exchanging gifts. 27, there's another nine. Be generous with yourselves. Right? So spirit can be generous with you. Look. She's sitting there with that cat. It's not even um, bothering her. She's not scared or threatening it out. And right here, that's a gift to be so poised, right? The thing that everybody else threatened is actually propelling you. I'm so sorry. I don't know what that looks like. But yeah, the thing that threatens everybody else is actually propelling you. Serendipity. Synergy. Remember, I told you, feeling like you've been here before. But take that leap. You know what to do. You know what to do. Orphans, you make the choices. Beware of your thoughts. Change your... Instead of being overwhelmed by your past, be grateful for it. Mending, yeah. You got five, five. Yeah, it's time to keep an open mind and let go. Everything can't be healed. Remember, some things you gotta just ultimately cut it off. When we tie up loose ends, right? This banner right here, it fell. Right here is time to repair it. Mm -hmm. And you see that ancestral stone she's sitting on? Right? But I want you to notice, as they're repairing, they looking up. Remember what I told you? Look up. Your healing going to come up. Go outside and look up tonight. I don't know. Imagine it's time to manifest, though. Might come to you in your dream to look at it from a different perspective. You got the time for a nap, right? Sleep. Once you go to sleep, go inside. You can see it uh, from a different uh, perspective. Right, it's gonna give you the willpower, the um strength, right, round and round, right, seeing it from a different a bird's eye view, right? You see the face inside the card, now you see it, now you don't, right? Two. You got two fives, you got time to let go, keep an open minded, time to follow your intuition and balance things out. Two two two, time to cooperate, co cooperate with universe look how that sly fox is resting in the divine right and the divine is carefully watching over and while you sleep no care no cares in the world right imagine imagine the life you want one two 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 beware of your thoughts it's time to balance and uh remember to stay positive remember to stay positive things are balancing out in your life that's the justice card. Full moon in Libra. Libra is justice. Libra is getting it together. So I hope that encouraged you guys um, for this worm moon. <laughs> and uh, for the next worm moons to follow, right? Because timing is fluid, right? It's going to be another worm moon, right? It's a never-ending story. Never end this story. This is going to go on and on. But this is your chance. Tick tock. Ace of Pentacles. It's your chance. I'm the Art Kind of Angel. Make sure that you um, create the life that you want. Um, get the power that you need to take off. Get that momentum. Hopefully you've been building your momentum. Um, think before you leap. Yeah.
Till next time, guys. Namaste.